My mom was widowed at 44 years old in the throes of her own struggle with Parkinson's disease. In the midst of dealing with my dad's terminal cancer for the previous seven years, she faced a series of devastating situations that would have felled a woman of less courage and faith. She never stopped being a loving caregiver to my dad through his four recurrences with lymphoma or an amazing mother to my sister and me. She made sure our family had a hot meal around the table together every evening. And if my dad was in the hospital, she made sure we visited daily to brighten his spirits. She did not complain about the many hospital visits, watching the love of her life deteriorate, or the new challenges she faced as her own condition started going downhill with her early onset Parkinson's diagnosis at 32 years old. She led our church choir for 18 years until her arms would no longer keep tempo with the song in her heart to the Lord. Even stepping down from something she loved to do, lead worship to God, was done with tremendous graciousness. My remarkable mom took care of her own parents in their golden years as we lived right across the street from them. She would daily check on their well-being and see to the needs of others in our church body and the neighbors on our street. She loved to teach Sunday school and vacation Bible school, sharing her love of the Lord with little ones. She taught us the value of hard work, imparting her love of gardening by working alongside us in our one-acre garden. She made countless sacrifices along with my dad to help my sister and I succeed in school and have monies for college so we could support ourselves since she knew my dad would not survive and her chronic disease would leave her completely disabled. My mom has been a brave pioneer, taking on experimental treatments and medicines, four brain surgeries, all with the goal to be as well as possible to help out those in her world. She has always extended unconditional love to us and other family and friends, even those who have mistreated her. Her capacity to forgive astounds me. Now people tend to disregard her in her disability. She is often ignored and not considered and made to feel of less value because of her limitations. Her heart is huge and she prays for others without prejudice. Even though she is physically incapable of doing for others as she would still like, I know she will be a prayer warrior for every person God brings to her bath for as long as he grants her breath. I love and admire you, Mom, with all my heart.